Hello, my name's Yvette Winard and I'm a senior lecturer in the Faculty of Health, Social Care and Education at Anglia Ruskin University. In this short film I'm going to tell you about the Foundation Degree in Leadership and Management in Health and Social Care. This is a work-based course delivered entirely by online distance learning, meaning that you don't have to attend the university campus, you don't have to take time away from work and you can study at a time to fit in with your work and personal commitments. It's available by a variety of delivery routes, including two years full-time, three years part-time and four years part-time, so you can study at a pace to suit your own needs. The course has been specifically designed to meet the needs of administrative and clinical staff who require foundation leadership and management skills in health and social care. So on that basis, you do need to be employed within a health or social care environment. For instance, some of our current students are GP practice managers, RAF medics, personal assistants, or healthcare assistants working in residential nursing homes. So as you can see, the course really is applicable to a whole range of job roles within either health or social care. So what are the benefits of studying the course? Well, it can really improve your career prospects. How? Well, Work-based learning is a process of applying knowledge specifically to people's day-to-day -day work responsibilities. So you'd be learning about issues directly relating to your job, in addition to investigating themes about the healthcare work environment in general. So if you should change your job at a later date, that doesn't matter because you'll be able to apply the learning that you've gained on this course to your new job as well, which makes it a really transferable qualification. And if you want to, once you've passed the course, you can then progress onto a bachelor's and a master's degree. So it very much is a stepping stone to your career in leadership and management. Another important feature of the course is that there are no exams. Instead, you'll be assessed on a module by module basis using a variety of methods such as essays, reports, presentations and projects. And you'll be able to contextualise your assignments to your job role. Our students say that their um, learning has already made an impact on their work. For instance, they've just completed projects and some of the students have improved the way in which statistics are collected on cancer pathways, or they've improved the timescales in which letters are sent out to GPs following clinic appointments. And they've improved menus in supported living environments and saved costs. So these have all made a real impact on patients and service users. Now there are a few things you should know about studying by online distance learning. Of course you do need access to a computer and the internet but you certainly don't need to be an IT expert and there's lots of help and support available to you throughout your course. On the other hand though you do need to be well motivated, you need to be very organised and you need to have good time management skills because you are going to have to balance your studies with your work commitments. Another important feature of distance learning is that students can feel quite isolated, but this can be minimised if you keep in regular contact with the course team and with your fellow students. And we have a variety of online collaborative activities in the university's learning environment in which you'll socialise with other students, as well as having discussions about leadership, managing people, managing difficult situations, or how to achieve dignity and respect in the workplace. The entry requirements to the course are quite varied and even if you don't have any formal education qualifications you can still gain entry to the course. And because our students come from a variety of educational backgrounds or have perhaps not studied formally for some time, we've created a variety of support mechanisms to help you, including pre-course preparation with tutor support and an online induction in which we have a variety of activities in which you'll socialise with students as well as being introduced to the university's learning environment. The course team have all got considerable experience of having worked in the healthcare environment and we've also led and managed both professional and non-professional teams of staff. We're also very experienced in delivering online learning and we've all studied whilst working full time, so we really do understand the challenges of working and studying. Embarking on any university course requires commitment, both financially and on your time, but this foundation degree in leadership and management in health and social care can really be a great investment on your professional and your personal development. So take this step forward and contact us either by email, telephone or you can follow me on Twitter. 
We look forward to hearing from you.